I think um, I think you have to give credit to the historic moment that's about to take place. I think there's been a foundation laid before us, seven other quarterbacks, African-American quarterbacks that have played in this game and to begin to set the precedent of, you know, being two now. And I think about, like I said, the foundation that has been laid before us. And I think about the, the kids that are back home that have aspirations and goals to do big things. And I think, you know, there are lim limitless possibilities in terms of them achieving their dreams. dreams. So I think it's, I think it's history, um, it's, it's historic, and great to be a part of it. I think, I think, you know, I think all of those individual awards come, you know, you, you don't you don't do those things by yourself, any of them. Um, and that goes down the line of history, you know, but obviously blessed to be up for that award and blessed to be here, you know, blessed to be here, definitely soaking all of this in. It's been a lot of hard work that I put in um, to be where we, you know, be where I am and be where we are. I think I've just been diligent. I've been diligent with everything. You know, I've uh, truly embraced the grind. Uh, I, I found a thrill in the process of getting better. I found a thrill in just just chasing it every day, and that takes consistency. You know, and I've I've tried to remain diligent with all of that. You know, I don't uh, look at the the grand scheme of things. I just try and go to work. If any. If anyone wants to reflect, reflect on anything, just reflect on the work, because that's what comes first. I can't hear you. Yeah, just go through, go through the normal routine. You know, I think when you're playing games like this, um, Kobe, MJ, they talk about it all the time. You playing games like this is about the details. It's about, you know, eliminating external factors, things that don't matter, and focusing on what's important. And I feel like all year that's kind of been my mentality going into every game. You know, focusing on what's in front of me, focusing on what's in front of us as a team, and um, you know, just attacking it. You know, I think it all comes down to your preparation. You want to go out there and be something, you know, reinvent the wheel, be something that you're not, or you know, just be who you've been this whole entire time. And I think both teams that have gotten to this point and you know, have done great things all year. So it'll be a bit of definitely a challenge for, for us. Yeah, I think Pat, he's a great player. He's a great player. You know, he's a very di dynamic guy back there in the pocket. Um, he, he's, he's a great player. I think there's so many families that are that are impacted by autism, you know, and while that is true, there's so uh, so many beautiful people that overcome it. Um, you know, they have lives, they have um, aspirations and goals themselves, and I feel like it's only right to bring attention to it. Um, I, I tell you, I've, I've had my time to spend time with uh, people in the autism, autistic community, and and they have some of the be most beautiful spirits and souls. So um, we do a really good job of that at the Eagles. And uh, I back Mr. Leary and everything that he does in terms of that. So it's a really big deal. Like I said, it's a very historic moment. It's, it's, it's historic. And for everyone that has laid the foundation before me, it's transcend it, you know. And I don't know, I think, I think it, it's, when you talk about something so historic, 
something that, I mean, it, it's a big deal because nobody's used to it. Um, and that's our, that, that's, the, that's the reality of it. Um, so to, to go out there and to be of encouragement to anyone watching, um, knowing that it can be done, and anyone can be on this platform, anyone can have these opportunities. It's, you know, I think I see it as an opportunity to honor everyone that has come before me, all seven quarterbacks that have come before Pat and I, including Pat or myself, and give encouragement to the future. You know what I'm saying? I know there are a lot of kids that have aspirations to play whatever position or do whatever it is, and a lot of people may tell them they can't do it, but they can. So. I think it was a great moment. It's a great moment. I have a lot of respect for all of those guys, including Randall Cunningham, who wasn't able to make it. Everybody watched RG3, the things he did in the league, especially at Baylor. Uh, Mike Vick, he's, you know, one of the greatest to ever do it. Uh, McNabb, same, coming through this franchise. And, and I feel like being able to have those type of people around me, specifically coming through the Eagles organization, um, it's very, it's very cool. It's very cool, and it's, it's an honor to be able to carry that torch. You know, I always told myself I wanted to blaze those trails and potentially create new ones. So I have a lot of respect for all of them. Is it tough to keep the main thing the main thing? I think my parents, prepared, I think my parents pre prepared me for all of this. Um, I think my parents. Everything that I've been able to endure and, and go through, uh, I call them formative experiences. I feel like good, bad, or indifferent, what you go through shapes who you are. And, you know, yeah. Yes. I think, like I said, I think everything you go through, it's an opportunity to learn from it. Everything. It's good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I hold a lot of respect for Coach Saban, the, the, the University of Alabama, and as well as Coach Riley and the University of Oklahoma being able to play for two of the best programs in the country. I think that is um, a big part of where I am right now, so I have a lot of respect for both of those schools. It's, um, it's in the air of its own. I feel like, you know, I think, um, I, f I feel like I play the game in a different way. You know, there's no telling how to be. You know, there'll be one game where and I, I, we played Green Bay and ran for a lot, 100 yards in the first quarter, rushing, and then um, throwing, throwing AJ and, and Smitty a lot of touchdowns the next week. So I think, um, I think it changes from week to week. It just depends on whatever it is, you know, pick your poison type of thing. Can you say that again? Yeah, but, um, you know, you know I, I, don't, I don't really get into that. You know, I don't think it's a time of reflection. I know it's a, it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun journey, um, but the journey's far from over. You know, it's just um, trying to attack everything day by day. No. I think with a guy like AJ, um, my friend, I always talking to him about ball. Since I was a freshman in college, I always talking to him about ball. Always having these conversations and building our football IQ. I think it's always been something that's been building, and I think when the rubber hit the road, it just it went smooth. You know, him coming to Philly, us having the opportunity to play together. I think it all happened naturally. It was all organic, and. You know, he hit the ground rolling. We hit the ground rolling. And uh, hopefully we can do that for years to come. But he's, he's a big time player. And same goes with Smitty. You know, I feel like when, when we had our time at Alabama, um, we had a little connection there. And getting him to come to Philly, that was um, kind of icing on the cake. Uh, 
that, that's cool. That's cool. You've been very close with a family of the Roxbury teenager who was killed this year in the violence. I wanted to just ask you how much that inspires you throughout the year if you think about him a lot and his family. Well, I think the biggest takeaway I had when I met when I met him and his family, um, well, met his family, so, uh, met his family, was realizing the impact that I have and we all have in that city, and um, the joy that you know we bring to the city when we're out there playing. You know, it brings so much ex excitement to people on Sundays, so much to look forward to, and um, to be able to bring them peace and. Um, a sense of joy in such a tough time when they were going through that and they're still going through that more than their, their son's loss. Um, I feel like that's the least that I can do, you know. Stay in touch with them? I have been. I have been. Yeah, I, think, I think all of those things are a compilation of who I am. Um, a man of God, um, a, a hard worker, a family person. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely helped. How would you describe your football journey and um, the disappointments that you had maybe in college, transferring? And how did that shape you to become the leader that you are today? Yeah, I think it's all um, from the jump unprecedented. Jalen, last night I was asking all of your teammates uh, what their favorite quote is from you. And uh, you have a lot of good quotes. What do you think? Your overwhelming favorite was? They, I don't know. Uh, whatever sticks. I have to hear what they said. <laughs> they said, season's not over. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's a huge blessing. You know, we, we put so much work in to have these opportunities. Uh, we definitely want to take advantage of it. You know, um, but it's definitely a blessing. Well, I say there are different strokes for different folks, but you know, if you're determined to go do something, you got to work and go, go, go get it. You know, nothing, nothing worthy of having comes easy. So you got to work, work to go get it. Believe in yourself and um, keep fighting. Your relationship with uh, Ryan Johnson. I think it's helped this team entirely. I think it's helped this team, and I think um, for us as an offense, just being able to do certain things and him having his input and the input he has, I think it's been very beneficial for all of us. You know, I've, I've always wanted to play for him. I always wanted to be coached by him, and kind of was delayed. Uh, not going to Mississippi State and not going to Florida, but um, everything worked itself out. So definitely been having a good time with him and looking forward to what the future holds with us. He played under your dad, right? He did play under my father. My father coached him when I was four or five, so I've known him for a very long time. He, 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 he like family. <laughs> did you want to be him for a little bit? When you no, no. I, I saw so many guys when I was a kid, uh, being, a, being a coach's kid, being a ball boy. I saw so many guys, so many – so many people that I looked up to, and I think in the bigger scheme of things, in the grand th scheme of things, there's so many kids, there's so many people that I looked up to, players I looked up to when I was a kid that are watching now that I'm able to um, put a smile on their faces, you know what I'm saying, and that means a lot to me. Uh, I can go down the list, um, go down the list from Baytown Lee, MacArthur, um, Town of View, all those places that my dad has coached. Uh, being able to watch all of those players come through, watch them go uh, to the league, watch them go uh, through college and do all those things. I've, I've always been around it. You know, this is my life. It is a huge part of my identity. I think there's a different, there's a different journey you go through when you're, when you're a coach's kid. And... I think you add that with the natural love for the game like I have. I love this game. I love the process of it. And I saw it firsthand with my father. I saw all of those things at the high school level. And being able to go play college ball at the highest level, um, I learned so much more about the game. And now playing now in my young career in the NFL, uh, I've been able to learn so much. So I'm just really infatuated with the game and growing and learning. And I feel like I got a head start at that uh, when I was young.
I know his passion. You know, I feel like everyone has a unique way of expressing themselves and being passionate about something. You know, and I know um, when, when we're out there on the field, we're, we're quite different in terms of how we respond to certain things, but um, we're really one and the same in terms of how we love the game, uh, our ambition to win, and our eagerness to win. And um, he's a, he's a, he, I mean, he's a, he, he loves it. He loves it. He truly loves it. I love it too. Um, he was very straightforward to me. He was straightforward, told me what I needed to hear, um, told me what he thought. You know, we, we were always trying to do anything necessary to win the game, so. Devontae. Yeah, I think I think football is about. I think football. Everybody, everybody plays the game. Football is the same. It's about how you communicate certain things to people, and I feel like he's a great communicator. I think um, you know, he's been able to definitely sim simplify some things, if you will. Um, and I think he it holds a lot of weight that he's played the position. You know, he's the best quarterback to come through Utah. You know what I mean? And. Um, so I think that holds a lot of weight. I think his experience with the game, I think um, what he's learned throughout his years as well, I think all of that goes into play. Uh, he's going to be a star one day. He's going to be a big time head coach one day. I have no doubt in my mind. Um, that's, that's coming from a personal, uh, friendship with me, me, him and I, also being able to play for him. You know, I know, um, I know every, I, I know everything about him. You know, what I'm saying Bear Station, Brian Johnson from Crosby, going to Baytown Lee. My dad coached him, and being the youngest coach to be an OC at Utah. I mean, all those things. He has a great track rec track record, and um, ho hopefully we can keep him here as long as we possibly can, but um, nonetheless, I'm proud of him, and um, it's definitely just the beginning for the both of us. Um, like I said, um, the, the two things that I told you, um, just how he communicates. Um, like I said, I think, I think there are, are times where one coach may say a lot, and he may say a little, but it's the same message. Um, I don't have a really hard, hardcore example of that, but yeah. <laughs> Alabama, my guy, what's going on, man? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, uh, I think it's been a journey. I think it's been a true journey. Um, I think the beautiful part about it, though, is um, the journey's just beginning. But um, my time at Alabama, definitely appreciated that. I learned so much. Um, built a lot of Built a lot of good friendships, and obviously going to Oklahoma and doing the same thing. So um, it, was, it was a great time. Devontae was just recounting the conversation that you guys had last year, I believe, watching the Bengals go to yeah. the Super Bowl. Can you uh, tell us and recount what you told Devontae? I mean, it was a text message, but um, <laughs> I mean, I told him. I, I, I told him that we could be in this position, you know, and I felt like um, he's the – he has he has the right type of conviction and um, work ethic to, to to go out there and work for it, you know. And you know we we are here now for a reason because we put the work in. So no surprise there. And you kept saying last year you guys were close. What did you specifically see that this team could be a Super Bowl team? Just just coming out here and being you know being consistent, uh, playing at a high level and playing together. You know I feel like there's a ton of value and. Repetition, getting experience, and learning, being able to learn from those mistakes. So, I think we've grown in a ton of different areas, and you know we have opportunity to be, you know, play play for the play for the championship. Yeah, um, there, there, there's not a specific point where I said this is where I want to be. I never really. It's crazy because I never really put a limit on myself when it came to that. Um, I just always told myself I wanted to be the best, and this was kind of this is kind of in the way of doing that, you know. So, a couple guys last night. 
Yes. Yeah, I think it's um, I think I I think that is transcendent, and I think just really you know everyone having an equal opportunity to go out there and achieve their dreams. You know, I feel like you know, I don't I don't think it, it matters if you're a female or a male. If, if you if you want to go do something, you should be granted the opportunity to go do that. Um, but to have the supporting cast that I have, and all the female. Uh, people in this organization, you know, every everybody does their job. Everybody do, does what they need to do, um, and we encourage them too. You know, everybody. So it's 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 fun. It's cool. You don't really realize kind of what's going on until you later reflect on it. But um, having you know the, the supporting cast that I have, I, I, I value it a ton. I think, um, I think the number one thing that I've always felt was important for me to do is just really go, when I go into these new situations, transferring from new to school to school, going into an NFL locker room, whatever it is, I think it's important to earn the respect of your people or your peers by what you do, by your action. That, 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 that then gives you the opportunity to lead vocally, um, let your voice be heard, but um, you have to learn the lay of the land. You know, you, you can't go in there demanding anything. You have to go earn it. So I know that that respect is earned. I'm in, in the locker room full of grown men and kind of been the same throughout that um, my whole entire time here. And I don't think that'll change. I don't think that'll change regardless of the dynamic. I think more so just getting on the same page and how we wanted to execute this offense, time and the things, and just really getting good repetition on things. So I think that was a very, um, I think that was essential for us this off season and it's, it's obviously, obviously paid off. Jay, when you look at your, uh, your center sitting next to you over there, everybody's talking about distractions this week, he's got everything going on with his brother. He's also got his wife who is due to give birth basically any second. Can you put yourself in his shoes and kind of what he's going through? I can put myself in his shoes. <laughs> I can't. Jalen, last night a lot of your teammates talked about how close this team is. Some guys said you've got kickers and punters hanging in the game room with defense alignment, practice squad guys hang with like the top guys on the team. How important is that connectivity that Nick and you as well, they said you take guys out to dinner or have them over. How important is that for this team's success? I think it's very important. You know, I think that's a core value for us is, is being together. And that's something that you can't force. I think we have a team full of, of guys that come in and, and want to win and they want to be together and they want to invest in one another. And I think all of it's paid off, you know, and I think that's been a good process for us. So, you know, we've been able to build really good friendships here. Uh, having, for me personally, having guys that I've known for a very long time, being able to connect with the older guys, being able to uh, build a relationship with Jason Kelsey uh, from day one since I've gotten here. Um, it's, it's all been it's all been good. It's all been good for us. Yeah, um, you just want to you know enjoy the moment, be present in all of it, but also know that um, know what the main thing is. You know, and you know we come here for 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 a goal. Come here to to play play a game. So. That's what it's about in the end. Do you imagine Jalen with the excitement is like back home? I know you guys are thousands of miles away here, but you got the whole city of Philadelphia kind of really ramped up for Sunday. Well, yeah, in Philly and Texas, um, all over, you know, it's, it's worthy of being excited about for sure. You know, there have been a lot of people that have supported us all year. Um, personally, there's been a lot of people that have supported me since um, my, my Pee Wee days and, um, no, it'll, it'll it'll be it'll be a moment. It'll be cool. Yeah, I think it's something that I carry with me. Uh, I think it's something that I lean on. You know, I think it's something that we all can lean on. You know, you may not know now, but later you understand. Um, Sometimes, sometimes things don't go as you may expect it, but it's it's not according to your plan. It's according to you know to his plan. So it's it's definitely been something that that I've held.
Jalen, what are some of the things you've seen on Kansas City's defense? Got a football question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Now, I think they're really good. I think they're a really good football team. I think uh, defensively, you know, you. I feel like I feel like they're really good at every position. I feel like they fly to the ball. Their front seven is very disruptive. Uh, 95, he's a <laughs> he's a problem, you know. And uh, we we have to really be we have to be ready to play really clean football, uh, execute, and um, you know we got to play our best. You know we got to play our best game. I think I think Coach Sirianni puts a great emphasis on situational football, and I think in the NFL the games are so tight. You know, a situational football is what wins you games, and it'll, it'll be what loses you games as well. So the importance of having everyone on the same page um, with those things I think is important, and I think I've learned a lot with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, my dad always said, you know, it's an amazing thing to see that, you know, he has you know, a sophomore in high school and, you know, freshman or whatever it is, you know, you have high school kids that jump off sides just like, you know, an NFL professional may jump off sides. Um, high school quarterbacks throw interceptions just like professional quarterbacks, you know, throw interceptions. So, you know, it's all a, it's all the same game. You have those same situations that come throughout every level. Yeah, just um, just just put the work in. I think, you know, regardless of what's going on, you have to put the work in. The work is always something that comes first, and um, that's what matters. You know, I think you get out what you put in. Yeah, um, well, I left with my degree. That was very important to me. I think it turned off. I left with my degree. I left with my degree. That was very important to me. Um, going to Oklahoma and having an opportunity to play for Coach Riley, that was fun. Um, it, was an, it, it was a great experience for me, and I learned a lot from him. Yes, it's not over yet. Um, the, the story's not over, the journey's not over, so it's, it's really hard for me to reflect on that. Um, Whenever it's done, whenever it's done. It ain't done yet, though. I think it's something that comes organically. I think it happens on its own. It's not something that I search for or fiend for. I think I just go out there and try and be the best version of myself, try and be the leader. Um, the leader I, I know I can be, try and be the quarterback I know I can be, be the worker I know I am, and everything else handles itself. I always want to try and set the right example, and I think people are leaders because their peers allow them to lead. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not the leader because I'm the quarterback or whatever it is, but I'm the leader because I just try and set the right example for everyone, and they choose to follow me. I don't make them. I think that's a testament to this football team um, and the leadership on this football team. Every 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 leader on this team remaining steadfast, committed to what we want to accomplish, committed to everything, and uh, continue to push forward through that time. And um, I think that's a testament to this team, the leadership, and every every man in the locker room. Uh, they're really good. They're really good on the edge, in the interior. Um, have a few blitzes here and there. Um, they're really good. They're really good. We have to, we have to be ready. We have to be ready. I did. You got a haircut. Um, no, I think you know. I, I think it was something that we we believed in. Um, I, like I said, I don't I don't like to talk about all of that. I like to talk about the work we put in, and I think we're here. 
we have this opportunity in front of us because of the work that we put in. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, well, I think everything that I've, every person that has been a part of the, you know, part of my collegiate career has um, played dividends to where I am now. I think, I think I've always had the mentality of being a sponge. I always talk about being a sponge and soaking up the knowledge around me, soaking up all of that around me. And I hold on to that. I hold on to that. I truly hold on to that. I feel like you know, everyone Everyone has advice, um, everyone has an opinion, but if it doesn't suit you, you don't take it, and if it does, you do. Um, and I've been fortunate to play for, you know, Coach Kiffin, um, Coach Dable, Coach Sark, uh, Coach, Coach Locks, uh, Coach Riley, I mean, the whole, the whole list, Coach Dougie P, and now Coach Sirianni and um, everyone in that room, so, um, no, it, it, was, it, it was definitely a roller coaster in terms of all the different changes I had to go through and endure and um, adapt to, but I always, you know, I always found it in myself to turn it to a positive, and I think that's what makes, you know, all of this kind of so unprecedented and so different is um, being able to go through all of that and still be here. So, what you got? <laughs> The best dancer on the team. Uh, so when I think about dancing, I think well, what kind of dancing? Because I think Lane Johnson is like the corniest, <laughs> yet funniest dancer. I think um, I I think all the all the Jersey guys and all the Philly guys can do like the the, the Uzi dance really good. <laughs> uh, Jordan Davis can dance too. He's a he's a clown. Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably, probably light me a cigar. <laughs> Real quick, what has this experience meant to you? Your family get to this point this year? It's been a, it's been a definitely journey. Um, you know, I think we're all blessed to be here. Um, I'm blessed to have this opportunity, and um, you know, just want to come out here and kind of do do what we came out here to do. You know, but definitely enjoying this moment and um, definitely proud that my my loved ones and my family can experience it as well. Oh my God, <laughs> he's crazy on the sidelines. Um, I think Ted has a very relentless, um, consistent mentality when he's in the weight room, and he always has the right things to say to us. I think he's one of the best leaders I've been around. He creates great energy, and he's he's damn good at what he does. So. I appreciate him, um, the conversations I have with him, um, all of those things. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, the last part? It was um it was just the beginning of a new a new chapter in this in this this long journey um, ongoing journey uh, I feel like um, having that opportunity to go in there um, could should have should have really won the game we had the Boston Scots run got called back um, but yeah you know um, it worked worked really hard to that point to to have the opportunity and come in remember he and G Ward down on the sideline and. You know, um, yeah, I think that's a fun time. That's a fun time.